again the next i would like next to our speakers dari dr v holye chia from university technology petronas to give a presentation the time is yours dr chia yep thank you very much uh, yeah good morning to um Moderators, uh, Dr. Moti, and then uh, Chairman, Dean, uh, from uh, Class, and also Unistas, uh, Jana Badra. And good afternoon to maybe for Malaysian and uh, fellow um, participants. Yeah, um, let me share my screen. Uh, can you hear my voice clearly? Just, just to check. Can you hear my voice, Muti? Just to check. Yes. Okay, can you hear my voice? You're facing difficulties in sharing screen. Uh, there we go. Uh, the technical team already made you a co host, so you should be able to share your screen now. Yep. Uh, I still cannot share the screen. Um, am I a co-host now? Okay. Oh, I still cannot share the screen. Yeah. Uh, do you still having some technical issues, Doctor? Yeah, I'm trying to share the screen, but I think I can. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Done. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you see my screen now? Uh, wait a second. Ah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, <laughs> sorry for that just now. Yeah, um, let me... okay, so um, today, um, yeah, let me start now. Uh, thank you for your invitation to Article Plus and everyone in uh, uh, Indonesia, organizer, MC, moderators, and yeah, um, good afternoon and good day to all the uh, participants. Today, I'm going to uh, actually uh, talk about something about uh, environmental engineering, which is the potential of natural coagulant in water treatment. So just now, I think um, Dr. Muti also mentioned that uh, my expertise is actually in water and also wastewater treatment. So particularly today, I would like to share with you on the natural coagulant in water treatment. Okay. So um, the outline is, uh, I will talk about some profiles and background on this uh, area. Okay. It may be um, related to the previous uh, section like environmental studies by Dr. Hanin, plastics and also um, rubber crumb by Dr. Basha. So um, yeah, so this is about the polymers that are maybe um, chemicals, bio-based chemicals, natural environmental chemicals that use in uh, water treatment plant. So there is a 100% natural base and also I will provide some uh, future outlook. Okay, so as a profile, uh, just to share with you where are we. So I'm from a university technology Petronas and I think Dr. Basha as well. So this is um, Peninsula Malaysia. So we are here. So to zoom down, we are somewhere near here. Okay, we have between the EPO and Kampa perhaps. Okay, so welcome to UTP and Malaysia in future. Okay, oh, you can always contact us. Okay, so as for me, okay, you can call me YC. So yeah, I'm currently the um, um faculty member in civil and environmental engineering departments in UTP. Okay, so yeah, today I would like to share with you what is the solution we have, okay, for the um hazardous waste problem that we have in our water treatment um sector. Okay, so this project also um maybe um participate um in uh, Royal Academy of Engineering, our mind uh, in Malaysia, the government, and under some uh, Newton Unku Omar Fund. Okay, so I also get the support from the Oxensia uh, consultant. So all in all, we are going to meet the SDG uh, 6 for the safer water to all. Okay. So just a background that I think uh, all of you may know that we only have around 3% of fresh water. 
So, but then uh, we have a uh, uh, overpopulation concern and also freshwater issue, drought season. So the drinkable water or maybe safe water for drinking purpose may be um, reducing day by day. So we are now trying to figure out how to um, uh, provide clean water to all. Okay, so discarded all the um, factors for the pollution uh, aspects. Okay, so typically this is the um, water treatment uh, process, the simplest form. Okay, so we have untreated water or maybe some um, uh, water that is not uh, is, is from the reservoir, rivers or whatever intake like lake. Okay, uh, maybe uh, your area you have dam all this. So we have gone through the water treatment plant process. Here, this is the essential process where we call it our uh, coagulation and population process. After we add in um, um, chemical processes, okay, so the, 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 the dirty parts of the water will be settled down. So what we get is the clean water. Okay? So we want to eliminate all the um, dirty stuff here, right? So what, what is the um, chemical that we use okay, um, now, usually? So we are using alum. Okay, so what we want to try is to um, um, insert um, one chemical that is natural based so that it can function the same. Okay, what we do not want is all these um, dirty products that's going to the landfill. It's not um, supposed to, to be a sanitary landfill. This is normal landfill. But if it is um, together with some other uh, elements, it must go to the secure landfill, which we call it um, landfill for hazardous waste. Okay, so currently what we are using is alum. So alum, when they um, how to say, uh, gone through this uh, simple process, so it will produce um, a hazardous solid waste. Okay, in Malaysia we have our Environmental Quality Act. Okay, it is scheduled under the uh, schedule waste of two zero four, which we have to send for landfill. So this is what we want to avoid. It will cause uh, first the cost to the auto operators, and second for the environmental problem. Okay, so we are trying to uh, provide this green solution, which uh, I'm pushing out the uh, landlock product. Okay, so um, these are the uh, environmental quality acts just to share with you. Okay, so SW204 is actually a metal uh, hydrocarbon sludge. Okay, we do not want this, so we want to replace it. Okay, replace a natural base so that we have a clean water access and also safer for water operators um, um, operating. Okay. So we have a few selections of natural goslin actually in, in worldwide. Okay, you can Google through, we have plant-based, we have animal-based, we have also micro-based. So for my case, um, I'm choosing plant-based. Okay, so but what is plant-based? So if um, you may know, okay, just um, some fruits or maybe plants that is um, near to you. Okay, like cassava peel, uh, this is cassava, this is cactus, okay, this is gorgam, this is moringa, and you have okra as well. So then some fruits, okay, maybe pitaya, these uh, dragon fruits will be looks um, more familiar with you. These are the fruits in uh, Malaysia, okay, in Ipo we have a lot of fruit like this. So, and these are the onana, anana uh, fruits that they say that is good for cancerous. Okay, so all this maybe, uh, not maybe, is um, a source for the natural coagulant. Okay, so it's not limited to this, there are so plenty of them. I uh, just would like to share with you some, and these are all my projects. Yeah, just to share with you, and there are other uh, projects as well that is ongoing, so you can do some journals to understand better. Okay, what we do here is we extract. Okay, so all these are uh, beneficial fruits, right? So people consume the fruits, okay, people consume the fruits, and what is left is the seed, all these, um, what is left is the peel. So um, I'm, I'm selecting them uh, back, okay, so, and then I've gone through some um, simple uh, process to extract the natural coagulant from there. So whatever I take is from the waste product, okay, and then I turn it to something uh, useful in water treatment, and it is uh, environmental friendly. Okay, so this um, uh, simple process, okay, and how I get this um, uh, polymer. So uh, polymers here uh, refers to uh, natural coagulant. Okay, natural coagulant is part of the uh, bio uh, part polymer. Okay, so this is the dried um, uh, forms. Just to share with you, I just take it um, um, from the um, waste product, okay, grind it, and then gone through a very simple water uh, heating extraction process. Okay, so then after that, what I got is the uh, natural problem. Therefore, I can dissolve in water and then uh, gone through the water treatment process to reduce the turbidity in water. Okay, so this is another samples, okay, so they are uh, gummy pipe like this, okay, all these are biopolymers. 
this is the natural coagulant that we can use in the water treatment. So after it's dried, okay, it looks like this. Okay. Um, yeah, we only need a little bit of um, concentration to dose in in water treatment, and it gets a uh, very good uh, efficiency. Okay. So yeah, so our aim is to have um, utilization of the pure waste because we have lots of food waste in Malaysia. In Malaysia, food waste apart from this um, um the uh, food waste, okay um. Food waste is the highest in Malaysia. Okay, so we have a lot of fruits as well in Malaysia. So all these are can be a source for natural coagulant because um the insertion thing is they are safe, okay, and they are biodegradable. Okay, they uh, actually showed a uh, very good efficiency, and they have a denser flux. Okay, this is essential because it will um measures the efficiency of the coagulation process. Okay, we want this to be condensed and also. So um okay, so this is my product that I found for treatment. And this uh, initiative is to use again the uh, waste product. So the waste product is generated from the manufacturing is around like 10 to 25%. Okay, so what we get from here is to as a soft oral materials okay, for our uh, plant-based coagulant. Okay, so I have uh, done some um characterization study. Okay, most importantly, we want to know the functional group. It is very important because all these essential group will help in the uh, coagulation and flocculation process that I mentioned just now, right? So we have to um, make sure that it's present. Therefore, it will help in the binding mechanism. Okay? After it's bind well, then it can uh, form a very um, dense block. Okay? And we also want to check their thermal behavior. So this experiment is actually run until 800, but it is uh, start to decompose around 300. Okay? It shows that um, these are uh, polymer. Okay, so they are biodegradable I mean, in some time and only two essential pick one is in water you can uh, finish uh, decompose within um, not decompose, uh, uh, degraded within 100 degrees and another one is just um double bond um carbon okay that uh, can be degraded around not more than 300 so this study is not too uh, this is what uh, kin to our environment so we also check on the uh, charge density. This is very important because um, positive charge um, uh, uh, coagulant will lead to a uh, good destabilization process. Okay, so that uh, is a very good uh, mark on uh, positive charge of the thing. Okay, um, we also evaluate on the pH when we want to uh, test in the water treatment. Okay, so it shows that in acidic region, in neutral region, in um, alkaline region, it works. Okay, so it's not influenced by the pH, which is, uh, makes it a very powerful product. Okay, sometimes the products can work well within uh, 5 to 8, okay, like alum uh, 5 to 8, uh, ferric chloride like uh, 3 to uh, 8, something like this. Okay, but it works well across the um, pH range. Okay, so this is how we check the denser flux or not. So this is uh, under microscope uh, when we want to uh, look into their properties. So this is the uh, original um, products. So, and then um, this is another uh, enhanced product. And this is the alum okay, that um, uh, works in the environment. So it captures a lot of water here, makes it um, um, uh, not too easy to settle. Okay, so if it is not captured too much water, so it is uh, heavier and it can uh, settle. Okay. So this is also we check on the volume that sludge produce. Alum will be having the highest uh, reason being is um, they are producing the hydroxide. Okay, so we are not producing the hydroxide, we are just binding them together. So um, that is the principles behind why um, alum has the highest sludge and it will cause a lot of cost and also problem to the water operators. Okay, so if we have uh, less uh, sludge, so it will be more keen to environment and also water operators. So uh, at the uh, simplest uh, summary on the efficiency that uh, these products is that uh, it can cross uh, works uh, in all the pH region and it's actually two times more effective okay, due to the um, polymer change and also the functional groups okay, and also the molecular weight. Okay, so and it can reduce 40% of the sludge produced. This is very um, essential. Okay, and also it can settle fast. In a normal uh, water treatment, maybe it needs around 20 minutes for KJPS or maybe 30 minutes. For us, uh, it settles within one minute. It's very fast. Okay, so and we are using the um how to say um waste product. Okay. So this makes um the works good. 
Um, now we are currently uh, going for the um, higher scale production. Okay, I got the, the prototype okay, already done, so we are ready for large scale production now. Okay, so these are just comparison on the competitive of our work. So if you want to compare with the more industry like previously, I showed you the pictures. Okay, so there are different types of um, aspects to look into. So for the uh, raw material, we are using the uh, waste material. For extraction, we are just using microwave or water. They are using chemicals, okay, or high tech um, equipment, okay, and we can uh, work in uh, all pH range, and the setting time is very fast, okay, and the dosage we use is um uh, very minimal, okay, but they are using others um a lot of chemicals that is um required too, okay, we only use um water or microwave, we just use electricity, okay, and there are others are extraction doses that they need to use. So and you can work in uh, normal temperature, but they are preferable in um, uh, 20 degrees as well. So we do, does not uh, require any other chemicals, but they need other like uh, PSC or maybe alum to help them to uh, make the uh, water to be treated well. Okay. So these are the uh, competition uh, just to show you our efficiency and the cost. Okay. Because these two are the essential things. So I have summarized uh, these um, commercial uh, products. Okay. They are quite um, good in their efficiency as well. Okay, these are the costs. Um, actually, alum is very hard cheap. So therefore, it is used in um, most of the water treatment plant. Okay, but it costs uh, some uh, concern. Okay, we are also concerned on the residue in water itself, not only to the sludge. Okay, so proposing things that is natural based, I think that would be um, helpful to our water operators um, and also environment as a whole. Okay. So as a future outlook, okay, just to share with you what we have in the natural coagulant uh, aspects. So as I mentioned just now earlier, uh, this project also be participated uh, together with the um, Royal Academy of Engineering, right? So they have, um, with the help of venture uh, consultant, they are coming out with a um, good statistics on this, that um, actually um, this has a very good market size, that uh, maybe in future, if you have uh, intention to work in coagulant or coagulant, so these are the fields that you may look into the application. So ours is like normal application. It can be used in bulk and paper industry. And I'm sure that in Indonesia, textile industry are good. Okay, you also have an oil and gas uh, industry, right? So all these uh, coagulant can be utilized in all these uh, uh, water and wastewater uh, treatment plant. Okay. And these are the, um, just um, to show in globally uh, how much um, the market size. Okay, so as in um, North America, the market size is the biggest. Okay, so we are still at the Okay, so it is uh, in the increasing trend. So um, investing um, in this um, sector may bring you um, higher HI. So <laughs> these are the uh, some summarization on the um, the benefit. Okay, uh, I've calculated the cost actually um, because I'm working with the industry. I signed an MOU. And DA and LI with them. So I calculate actually if we are using they are using our products, so actually they save up to 40% of their material cost only per month. Okay, so and it is uh, actually environmental uh, safe. Okay, and we can also create a job and uh, for others because we are now running a mass production, perhaps. Okay, so we are going to um uh, good how to say uh, creating jobs, okay, creating jobs for people, especially now during post-COVID condition, right? So, and it is also fit to the uh, green chemistry principles. Okay, I just now I saw Dr. Hanim also mentioned about green, um, green chemistry or green economy. Okay, so this, these are all the green stuff that we are looking now. Okay. And for our uh, contribution, okay, so just to, 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 to highlight that uh, there is um, a new invention that is like, uh, from UPP. Okay, and we are also contributing to the um, concern on the schedule waste, which is the hazardous waste, and also to the water operators and also the SD sustainable goal. Okay. So uh, other application for natural coagulant. Okay, we have tried. Okay, uh, it is um uh, effective in microalgae harvesting. So microalgae is very important now because it is a source of um renewable energy. So they culture the mic mic uh, microalgae in a um, uh, column like this. Okay, so but then when they want to uh, collect it, so they uh, they will add the coagulant in, okay, the natural coagulant in, so that it can settle. Okay, as you can see here, these are working in our lab in a very small scale. 
So this is an um how to say um the unsalted uh, unsettled um algae and this is the settled one, very clean water. So you can separate between the algae and water. Algae will send to renewable um as a feedstock for renewable energy. Okay, or maybe food. Okay, now they are having the algae as a superfood um intake. Okay. And we also try on the agricultural wastewater because eventually all this wastewater uh, water from the agricultural land will go to surface water, which is river. So it is essential to be treated first before they pollute our water waste, right? So uh, we have tested okay, because the stability is very high. So uh, this product also um, effectively uh, works uh, in this area. So these are maybe two other areas that our natural carbon can be adopted. Okay? And because um, these are microalgae can work in uh, these are how, how to say, cultured in a large scale, and maybe it's not feasible um, if you are using um, aluminum sulfate only. So, natural causalent may be more feasible for the environmental uh, aspect. Okay, so and yeah, it is used extensively and it is not good, even though people are using now. Okay. So, yeah, that's about uh, my sharing with you on the uh, possibility of uh, natural causalent to the water treatment plan and also their uh, future outlook or the direction. Okay, thank you so much.